Yo, 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 welcome to this voiceover. Was this one of the most difficult moves, office revamps that I've ever done? Possibly. Do I like the results? Sort of. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the way that the room turned out. It is a small-ish room, especially when you add all the furniture in, as you will see at the end but I just got loads of stuff from Ikea for the first time in my life. I own all the furniture in a flat because I've never had that before. I've always moved into places which have been pre-furnished. So it was pretty interesting to try and figure out what I like. Also, you might hear trains in the background because I now live next to a train track. And I thought I would find that really annoying, but actually I find it quite soothing. So there you go. I really wanted to figure out a space dedicated for each thing that I do in my life. So like a freelancer slash, you know, desk set up for my staff, my computers, and then a desk for working on, for filming, and then like an area for packaging and having all the products that I sell in Etsy there. And yeah, I also needed this space to be a spare room for any guests that come over. So it was pretty much like packing a load of stuff into one space. You can see here that I'm just looking at all my pictures and stuff because I had this idea to have a lot of shelves with pictures on the walls. But I didn't do that in the end because I'm scared to <laughs> hang up the shelving units. I need to figure it out. I will do it eventually. But I framed a lot of my prints that I got sent from artists and things like that, which is nice. I finally got my hands on one of these trolleys that can just hold all my art supplies, which I was hoping could be a relatively easy way to just grab something that I fancied using. But it still has that thing in my brain where I'm like, I can't see it, so I don't really think about it, if that makes sense. Like, I really would love to have, like, shelves with just be able to display loads of stuff but you know I've only got this small space so what can I do I'm working with a smallish area so I just had to use that and I think it looks pretty cute the area looked quite nicer the part that I had done I roped in Chris to help a lot with a lot of the furniture and I got this like shelving unit from Ikea as well which I really liked this one was like a relatively cheap shelf compared to the other stuff I got and I thought it was gonna look a bit naff but actually I think it's one of my favourite like furniture things that I've bought but yeah, I'm just putting my books up there, my favourite books and all this different stuff and I really like it, I like it, I like the way that this room turned out and I hope that you guys will like the tour at the end so I'll just stay quiet whilst you watch me organising all this other stuff I said that and then I realised that I filmed me getting my Patreon rewards for this month so here are the stickers based off the painting. I said that and then I realised that I filmed me getting my Patreon rewards so 
Here are the stickers based off the painting that I got and I really like the way they turned out. They look they look weird on the backing but they're see-through stickers so they look much better by themselves <laughs> if that makes sense without the backing on them. And then I also got these prints so those have already been shipped off to patrons and unfortunately uh, you can't get it off Patreon anymore but maybe I'll put it up in my shop if anyone wants this stuff. But yeah, back to the uh, office organisation. Okay, I am not one to brag, but <laughs> this, I got this, um, I don't even know what to call it, like a ceramic, I think it's for a plant, but it has a lid, but I'm going to use that as a bin, and I got it for five pounds, five pounds, guys, it was on sale, and it's like proper ceramic, so I think it's really cute, so I'm just going to use it as a bin, and they've absolutely covered it with stickers, so hopefully those all come off. It was £25. I'm very, very pleased with myself. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Okay guys, this is it. Time for the big reveal. I say big. It's uh, not really, is it? So I've got my little doorstop here. And bags on the back of the door. I've got this unit from Ikea, it's got books, sketchbooks, bits and bobs, it's a little bit messy, I would like to sort it out a little bit more but you know, just time, got some sketchbooks, canvases there, my dying plant, if anyone has any tips, help me, <laughs> I am not a very good plant mum, um, I've been spraying it with water, um, I don't know what happened here, but the cats have just been chewing it, so I've got my uh, Starbucks cup that I painted and then also a Costa one, a mirror, my YouTube plaque, my old laptop, um, some prints, my favourite squishy in the world because it, it came from Japan and it's still, can you shut up? It still smells of peaches and also this tingle toy um, that Chris got me and it's an in-joke a bit because I absolutely hate Tingle from Zelda and he went to New York with his friends and he came back and bought me this and I was like are you joking <laughs> I absolutely hate Tingle but now I, I kind of love it because you know, it's funny um, also I, I like Tingle I don't like him but I like to hate him if that makes sense there's Gigi and he is just investigating if there's any plastic he can eat which there isn't, I hope no plastic for you I'm sitting on a giant box of my Lego because I don't know where to put it um, yeah, I need to like move that somewhere else <laughs> and here is my sort of organisational packing sort of case shelf thing for when I get orders so this is really handy this is from Ikea it was quite cheap and it just you can stack I think it's for like CDs mate not CDs I'm not actually sure what it's for really maybe records um but yeah I just put loads of my prints here so I can just grab them quickly I've got my comics in these like clear boxes so they just they're um safe from the elements um, usually have them covered up and then I've got like all my stickers here as well in little individual packages so I can just grab them if somebody orders them some more Emily is burning which I think I'll never sell out of because it just doesn't really sell anymore some comics to hand my nails that I got from that online TikTok shop that is really quite famous 
she did me some spirited away and your name nails that were going to be for my wedding but then they didn't arrive in time so i just have some awesome nails my creek cut which i never use because it intimidates me i've got down here loads of different packaging i save i try to save like lots of different packaging so like up here i've got like different envelopes and packing things i've got all my tissue paper my i have like loads of these cards now for patrons so i've got loads of those and uh, yeah i've got loads of packing things i've got my thank you cards here which i bought way too many of because i don't know i don't know why i bought so many <laughs> I was like, this is a clever thing to buy a lot of, and then they just haven't really sold. I got my favourite books ever. These ones. I need to read this still. I just think these are really nice, pretty books, so I put them up here. Um, a picture of Frank Otto that I got in Amsterdam. Um, Otto Frank, not Frank Otto. Uh, looking in on the attic. And I got this, like, really cool... Um, sort of photo holder print holder from brighton like this art of craft fair just an ikea lamp and i got this like little pom-pom things from urban outfitters which i really think are cute and kind of tie like the whole building unit together i think this is probably like the cutest part of the the uh studio um i got this you know like every artist has to have and um I was like, oh, this is so convenient uh, to store my art supplies because I can see them, but it's like on the carpet, it's like, uh, to take it anywhere. But it's still pretty convenient. So moving on to my beautiful ceramic bin. <laughs> then I've got print, my massive printer, which I do not recommend for prints. I just, I don't know why I got it. Um, don't ask me. Cat bed that no one's lying on because it's too hot. I'll create a box which I need to throw out or figure out what to do with. So this is like my filming desk. Um, it's really nice to have two desks, one for like my day job and one for filming because it means I don't have to keep setting stuff up to film. It's just there so I can just, if I want to film something, I can just go for it, which is so much easier. I've been filming a lot of TikToks recently, which was fun. So that's the, I've been filming some TikToks here. I filmed one yesterday and then I didn't like the way I edited it, so I took it down. But yeah, I'm just using this scraper tool and uh, doing some fun things with like mark making. But yeah, just a bit some bobs. Um, got my teapot from Marzia, my painting, um, subscription box, some more paint uh, paintings and things that I need to put up because I've got like shelves there. God. I've got like shelves there from Ikea that I need to put up but I'm not sure about it uh, I don't really want to plug in any anything it's Gigi by the window this is where I keep my main art supplies and things and then here's my working desk I have um, just a small Ikea desk and then I can just swivel my chair around Oop. or not to work on content stuff if I want to uh, got a little lamp here, which I really think is quite cute, but it kind of shines in my eyes a bit too much. <laughs> um, but it has a dimmer, which is really good. Got a couple things stuck to the wall here, which I like. I like that aesthetic of sticking things to the wall. I don't think I'll do too much. Um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know what this is called. I think it's a poem or something, but I got it in a temple in Japan about four... No, it's not 14 years ago, like 10, 11 years ago. And it just basically is supposed to mean something to you and it just kind of reminds me to work a bit hard and be versatile in what I do, if that makes sense. I don't know. Got my camera. Oh God, I just I got my camera with this arm that I got for live streaming, but it just comes in handy for freelance work. Um, here's my desk. So I've got this fake plant, which I absolutely hated. I bought it online on Ikea for like a pound and then I was like, oh, I thought it was real and then it came in, it's fake. I'm like, ugh. But actually, I've kind of grown accustomed to it. I kind of like it now. Um, got my blue glasses that stop the blue light. This little model that I made of my neighbor Totoro and under here I keep like little bits and bobs. This is my, I can't even remember what this is called. 
this um, tablet. <laughs> Uh, the iMac, which I just basically listen to music or have something on in the background. Just these are the pens that I use quite often, so I just have them by me. This is my to do notebook. I framed some prints that I got from some friends. Um, well, friends. Um, I got from other artists. Uh, this one's from Joy San. This one's from Casey Golden. And this one is from Julian. Tamaki from Shortbox. It's basically like a cloth uh, printed on, which is really cool. I've got my Tamagotchi, I've got my print that I made myself, <laughs> I've got a big Dina print that I would like to frame, which I just rediscovered again. I've got some plushies, uh, some of those are from Casey Golden, and uh, one is Pom Pom Purin from Japan, which I love, and this is a sock monkey that is called Momot that Chris made years and years ago before he met me, and then I stole it. I've uh, got my long hot water bottle <laughs> for my back, which always goes out, so I have to have a hot water bottle in the morning, as my osteopath describes. Here are some cat toys. This is a pillow my sister made me for Christmas one year. Really cute, different cross-stitch of Studio Ghibli stuff, which I love, and then I've got loads of pillows. Um, and this is the back of the room, some bags, uh, N64, no, uh, Wii boxes and things for some reason, and then Gigi's back on the desk, and that is the whole room, so, yeah, it's not, like, <laughs> super beautiful, amazing, oh, also this is a day bed from Ikea, and it's got loads of, like, books and old sketchbooks in it and stuff, but it's not that interesting. And also this light is, it didn't fit. This is a light bulb from Ikea, which I really love because you can scrunkle it to be the shape you want, which is really cool. I don't dare not touch it because it's gonna fall. But it, my light has like three lights and I've checked it, it's not hot that it won't burn, but I've like tied it up myself because it didn't fit otherwise, but I really like it. I think it really fits the room. It's a bit ostentatious, a bit too much, but I kind of like it. And yeah, that's my room. It works for me. It does the job. It's not like a beautiful, open, light, airy space, but it, it suits me for now. And I hope that you guys like my sort of honest <laughs> room makeover tour. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I like it, but it's not like beautiful, is it? Let's be real. <laughs> so that's it. That's my room tour. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave me a like if you did because it super helps the algorithm all that um, but yeah Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Also. Thanks to my patrons. You guys rock ah!